Ever wondered what hides behind the charm of a cerebral narcissist? Well, let's journey into the intricacies of their cleverly constructed facade. A facade of brilliance that's as captivating as it is deceptive. The cerebral narcissist, a master of intellectual superiority, wields knowledge like a sword, skillfully parrying with insightful observations and witty retorts. Yet, don't be too dazzled by this display. Beneath this shiny surface their knowledge might just be a mirage, a superficial layer meant to impress rather than to genuinely understand or contribute. Now, if knowledge is their sword, then wordplay is their shield. These individuals are artists in the realm of language, subtly deflecting blame, artfully weaving narratives that cast them in the most favorable light. Listen carefully to their stories, watch for inconsistencies, contradictions. These are the chinks in their armor, the cracks in their facade. And let's not forget how they subtly devalue others' intelligence. It's a quiet, insidious process. They may dismiss your insights, belittle your ideas, all while reinforcing their own perceived intellectual dominance. Over time, this can erode your confidence, making you question your own intellect while they continue to shine. However, it's important to remember that this is not about genuine intellectual superiority. It's about control. It's about maintaining an image, a persona that allows them to navigate their world in a way that serves their needs, often at the expense of others. So what do we have here? A charismatic individual, seemingly brilliant, who skillfully uses knowledge and language to manipulate, control, and maintain an image of intellectual supremacy. Yet, beneath this facade, we might find a different story. We might find superficial knowledge, inconsistencies in narratives, and a propensity to belittle others' intelligence. Beneath a cerebral narcissist's intellectual veneer often lies a more troubling reality. Beneath their charm, cerebral narcissists often exhibit a chilling emotional detachment. Their emotional depth can be as shallow as a sidewalk puddle. While they may dazzle you with their intellect, they often struggle to empathize or genuinely connect on a deeper emotional level. To them, emotions can be seen as inconvenient hindrances, detracting from their carefully curated image of intellectual superiority. Their lack of vulnerability is another telltale sign. Rarely do they reveal their true feelings, preferring to maintain a guarded and controlled persona. This emotional armor acts as a barrier, keeping others at a safe distance, never allowing them to see beyond the facade. Moreover, they may exploit your emotions, subtly observing and analyzing your emotional responses. They use this knowledge not to understand or connect with you, but to manipulate you, to elicit reactions that serve their own needs and validate their superiority. This emotional distance can leave you feeling isolated and questioning the authenticity of your connection. Cerebral narcissists are masters of manipulation and control. This is a truth that can be difficult to accept, especially when you're entangled in their web. But understanding their tactics is the first step towards reclaiming your power. One of their most potent weapons is gaslighting. This is a psychological technique where they subtly twist reality, deny things they've said or done, and make you question your own perceptions. It's like a magic trick, a sleight of hand that can leave you feeling disoriented and doubting your own sanity. Imagine you're in a conversation with them, and they casually deny a statement they made just moments ago, or perhaps they insist that an event you clearly remember never happened. This isn't just forgetfulness or a simple miscommunication, it's a deliberate act designed to shake your confidence and keep you off balance. But the manipulation doesn't stop there. When confronted about their behavior, cerebral narcissists often play the victim. They're adept at shifting blame and painting themselves as the misunderstood party or the target of unfair criticism. It's a performance designed to evoke sympathy and deflect attention from their own manipulative behavior. Suddenly, you're the one apologizing, and they've escaped accountability yet again. Lastly, cerebral narcissists may attempt to isolate you socially. They do this subtly, perhaps by making negative comments about your friends or family, or by monopolizing your time. The goal is to create a sense of dependence, to make you believe that you need them more than anyone else. This control tactic can leave you feeling lonely and cut off from your support network. These manipulative tactics can be disorienting and damaging to your self-esteem, but recognizing them for what they are is the first step towards breaking free. Remember, you're not alone in this struggle. There are resources and support available to help you navigate this challenging journey. Scene Script 
Unmasking a cerebral narcissist requires keen observation and self-protection. Indeed, the first line of defense is your intuition. Like a silent alarm, it alerts you when something is not right. It may be a subtle unease, a gut feeling that the dazzling intellect and charm may be a smokescreen for something darker. Do not dismiss these red flags. They are your subconscious mind's way of signaling that all may not be as it seems. Setting clear boundaries is the next important step. This is your personal line in the sand, defining what you will and will not tolerate. It is not about controlling the narcissist, that's a battle you cannot win. Instead, it's about asserting your right to be treated with respect and kindness. Stand firm, be consistent. Remember, boundaries are not a sign of selfishness, they are a sign of self-respect. But even the strongest among us can falter under the relentless pressure of a cerebral narcissist. That's why it is crucial to seek support and validation. Talk to trusted friends, family, or a therapist. Share your experiences, your doubts, your fears. Their perspective can be a lifeline, breaking the narcissist's emotional hold, and reminding you that you are not alone. Above all, prioritize your well-being. It's easy to lose yourself in the labyrinth of the narcissist's mind games, to forget that you are more than their target or their victim. But you are. You are a person of worth, deserving of love and respect. Your mental and emotional health matter more than their need for dominance and control. So protect yourself, nurture yourself, love yourself. Remember, unmasking a cerebral narcissist is a process, not a one-time event. Prioritize your well-being and reach out for support when needed. In the end, it's not just about unmasking the narcissist. It's about reclaiming your power, your self-worth, and your right to a healthy, genuine connection. You are more than capable of navigating this journey. You've got this.